I'm John Conroy. I'm an orthopaedic surgeon who specializes in hip and knee surgery, and I'm presenting to you a series of videos on robotic surgery. I wish to introduce myself, introduce my background and my interest in robotic surgery. I've been uh, interested in technology and surgery for a number of years. I've been an orthopedic surgeon for over 20 years and I've been a consultant since 2006. I've gone on to design hip replacements and design uh, knee replacements and I've also had the ability to be introduced to robotic surgery from um, and its very early stages. I've been able to use robotic surgery in the US before we introduced it into the UK and we were the first uh, hospital in the north of England to get uh, robotic surgery in the form of the Mako robot to Leeds. Since 2017 when we introduced the Mako robot I've done over 400 hip or knee replacements and we're approaching the 500 mark in the next few months. My medical training at St Andrews University followed by Manchester University uh, both in the UK. Um, I went over to uh, Yorkshire where I did my final surgical training and worked in several hospitals including Scarborough, York, Harrogate and Leeds. Following that I moved to Australia to Brisbane working under Professor Crawford where I learned my first uh, navigation techniques so using technology to place implants in the correct position. The technology is uh, moved on from there um, to robotics technology, but we'll talk about robotics technology in the next series and the, the next programs that we, that we have on the YouTube channel. During my surgical training, I studied for four years as a part-time master's degree in engineering. Uh, this was mechanical engineering and I was also able to uh, perform some experiments under my fellowship in Australia at the Queensland University of Technology. Subsequent to that I became a consultant at Harrogate Hospital in 2006 and I've been a consultant since. I've done thousands of hip and knee replacements and variations. I've performed several thousand hip and knee replacements I've also performed keyhole surgery of the hip in the form of hip arthroscopy. At the time as a consultant, I've tried to evolve my technique and make it better. I've tried to get the best results possible for the patients, and I really believe that robotic surgery has that ability to improve the outcomes of the patients, and also to make some of the complex cases that I do personally a little bit easier for me through preoperative planning and accurate placement of the um, implants at the time of surgery various different types of robotics that we will discuss over the coming um, weeks and months and, and there's also different techniques in surgical approaches to the hip and knee. We're going to talk about preparation for your surgery, how to be as fit as possible, what prehabilitation exercises you can do. We're going to talk about the day of surgery, what anxieties you may have. We'll walk through the pathway of what you may see when you come in um, for an operation, uh, seeing the anaesthetist, seeing the ward, the nurses, what your experience might be in theatre, and then what your post-operative experience might be. And so we'll talk about um, the first few days after, you, after your operation, we'll talk about x-rays, we'll talk about your first steps um, using walking sticks or crutches, and we'll talk about what to expect in your recovery once you've left hospital what are your aspirations, what are you able to achieve with modern hip and knee replacements. Of course at all time we're going to be focused upon the robotics techniques and what robotics can offer you and the safeguards that robotics give you against some of the complications that you may develop for it through uh, hip and knee replacements. To not burden you with too much information, hopefully it'd be enjoyable for you to watch. We've got some very good pictures, diagrams, and some video of operations that you, I'm sure you'll all be interested in.